It's been a very, very long time now, several decades, that people have been talking about solid state batteries. Japanese automakers are talking about them every second week, trying to get people to invest in their stock and hope that they'll still be alive in 10 years. But a lot of people think, you know, we're not going to see solid state batteries in EVs anytime soon. That actually isn't true. In fact, it's very likely that within 12 months, electric cars using solid state batteries will be on sale in a number of countries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. GAC Aon, or particularly the brand Aon, the parent company is called GAC. They've been working on developing different types of batteries, and they have extremely high energy density batteries, much better batteries, in fact, than the ones we're hearing about from NEO, which are a Wee Lion semi-solid state battery. Now, the truth is that GAC Aon already have been using batteries that aren't semi-solid state in their EVs, giving them more range than Wee Lion's semi-solid state battery, which is not really all that impressive, to be honest. But there are some impressive solid state batteries. One of those has just been announced by Aon themselves. They have revealed that their work in solid state batteries is beginning to pay off. GAC's Hyper brand, which manufactures supercars, is about to actually manufacture uh, electric cars with their true solid state battery. It uses a 100% solid state electrolyte and it has ultra high energy density and it operates across a very wide temperature range. So it seems like, you know, we've been waiting decades for this to happen and it's finally on the precipice of actually really happening. Now, Aeon are not the only company. IM Motors, which are a subsidiary of SAIC, or SAIC as some people know them, uh, the Chinese government owned car company, they also have their own solid state battery they're working on. But from what we know so far, there's not a lot of details on that battery. Apparently it's gonna be out in IM Motors, EVs within a few months. However, the Hyper battery from Aeon appears to be the most promising solid state battery technology that we've seen anywhere so far. At the end of November last year, GAC Aeon announced new breakthroughs in its solid state battery technology at its press event at the Guangzhou Auto Show. It said it would have solid state batteries for use in mass produced vehicles in 2026, but it's gonna begin manufacturing them in limited numbers this year and next year to go into more of its high performance vehicles, which makes sense. GAC has said, the biggest challenge with solid state batteries is longevity. That's what everyone's been working on. Uh, they just don't last long enough. They get dendrite issues and anyway. Solid state batteries, they say, they've been able to improve their versions longevity by 50%, making them actually, you know, actually batteries that you would want to have in your car, not batteries that you think are great and all of a sudden they die. The company have revealed their energy density for their solid state batteries and they use silicon negative electrodes. They've improved the energy density of their solid state battery from 300 watts per kilo to 350 watts per kilo. That would mean you, you could buy an electric car from this company, assuming they're gonna make these batteries for other makers, they may or may not. But if you bought one of these cars, it would be relatively easy for them to give you 600 miles of range in the real world. I'm talking a thousand kilometers of range in the real world. You wouldn't need a 100, a ridiculously big 150 kilowatt hour battery like the battery pack that we lie on are making from, for Neo. That battery pack is so expensive, Neo is not even gonna sell it. They're only gonna use it for rentals. So this is a different game here. We're talking a battery that will be able to be much smaller, a 100 kilowatt hour battery, which would enable a real world range of 600 miles or a thousand kilometers. IM Motors, the EV unit of SAIC, have said that they are going to reveal or going to manufacture EVs this year using their solid state batteries, which will have a 130 kilowatt hour size, so a bit smaller than the NEO battery, and a range of over 1,000 kilometers. Now, they haven't revealed a whole lot of details about that solid state battery. I'm not 100% confident because we don't have enough information, but I am confident about Aon. We know Aon make some incredible solid state batteries in-house. Whoever their technicians are there, their battery technicians, Tesla should poach them because they're really, really intelligent. But this is the precipice. This is the point in which we start to begin to see 
solid state batteries actually go into cars. They're becoming a real thing. Now, Toyota have admitted that uh, their solid state battery technology is a long way away from ever being real. They've admitted that they haven't even worked out which electrolyte they're going to use and they're trying to develop a certain type and they're in development, a development phase apparently. They say mass production will occur in 2030 and it will be a few tens of thousands. Yeah, so the truth is the solar state batteries we are going to see being manufactured, they will be manufactured first in China and America, possibly Taiwan as well. Japan, I think that's all a little bit, well, I think they're actually a long way behind in terms of their production. A long way in front in terms of their marketing and talk, but in terms of actual real product, no, we're not seeing anything really coming from Japan at the moment. What are your thoughts? Would you consider buying um, an EV if it was say 20% more expensive, but it had a solid state battery, which would give you incredibly fast charging and massive amounts of range? I think a lot of people who buy expensive pickup trucks might, might be interested in this kind of battery. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.